What's up guys, it's BD here, and we haven't covered a monitor in a very long time, so today I thought I'd cover the new Aorus KD25F 240Hz 0.5 milliseconds response time, and it's got a ton of features. I'm gonna be covering some of my favorite ones today because there's just too many to name, so I'm gonna give you guys the ones that I think are the most important and that can help you the most. So let's get into the review of the KD25F monitor from Aorus. So starting off with the input, it's got a standard power input. Now this is great because there's no power bricks that you need to cable manage and put upside your desk or have it laying around on the floor and you need somewhere to hide it. It just plugs straight into the wall and I actually love that about this monitor. It's also got a display 1.2 port, two HDMI 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports. It's also got a USB data cable as well. Now this is gonna allow you to actually control the RGB from your desktop on the stand as well as controlling the actual monitor settings from your desktop you'll be able to click around with your mouse on the osd which is really really cool i've never seen that happen with any other monitor so you can do this on the fly you don't have to use a joystick on the bottom side of the monitor speaking of the joystick it's going to be on the bottom side of the monitor and you're going to be able to get into your menus and control the settings of this monitor but we'll get into that a little bit later so taking a look at the stand it's not as bad as an alienware stand but i don't like that the feet come out so far they don't get in your way too much and they go out wide instead of coming out towards you which is a little bit better than the Alienware stand. So not only does this monitor have RGB along the back side of the panel but it also has it on the stand as well which is pretty cool. And you can control this with the Fusion software which is really nice so if you have a color combination that you want to splash against your wall you can do that. Although the back side does look a little bit funky with the design of the shape having that vase amount flexibility is really nice because you can put it on a dual monitor or triple monitor stand like I have back there. All in all this stand is not too bad you can tilt it you can swivel it you can move it up and down which is really nice so a lot of flexibility with this monitor so the monitor stand isn't too bad i wish it could be a little bit more minimal i'm more into the minimal stands but i can see how some people might like this stand so this monitor features free sync which is adaptive sync it does work with nvidia cards i've tested it it works and what that will do is it will get rid of some screen tearing and it will smooth out your game just a little now some people say it doesn't make a difference at 240 hertz it makes a difference i can definitely i challenge you if you can turn it on and off and not have to adjust let me know okay but when i do it my shop is way off so when i play like AAA titles like assassin's creed or witcher 3 or something like that then i turn on the adaptive sync for fps shooters i like to turn it off and when i turn it off you also get this aim stabilizer now what this essentially is is diac and i missed this the first time i used this monitor i didn't know until i did some research it's actually DIAC and you can actually run it like DIAC at 240 hertz. Now what this essentially does is it reduces motion blur, it gets rid of muzzle flash and it really reduces it. Now I did some testing, turning it on and off and it actually does make a huge difference in my opinion. So if you're a person that plays like COD, if you play like CSGO, Escape from Turkov, apex all these games that have a lot of muzzle flash the aim stabilizer will help you a ton highly highly recommend you guys try this out for yourselves so another feature that you guys might be able to take advantage of is the picture in picture or pip now what you can essentially do is plug in the display port and the hdmi port and then have two displays running to that one monitor so uh, for you streamers out there let's say you only have like one monitor let's say you want to just have this one monitor you don't can't afford a second one or whatever your reasons are uh, you can actually have your twitch chat in one monitor right and then have your game in the other so you can it could essentially be a two-in-one for you so that's a really cool feature and I didn't really think to do that until I saw the feature I was like wait this could actually help you guys out there that are trying to twitch but you know what maybe you don't have the cash flow to get that second monitor yet so another cool feature that I really take advantage of is the black equalizer now this makes the darkest parts of your image a little bit brighter so let's say somebody's hiding in a corner you can see their head a lot easier or if you're in a dark part of the map you'll have the advantage so that is another invaluable feature for us FPS gamers out there and it does this without washing out the image so let's say another person has it and they brighten up their image they just try to boost the brightness artificially their game is going to look terrible this keeps your game looking good and at the same time giving you a great image so they also have this osd sidekick which is really really cool because you can adjust all these settings from your desktop using your mouse all you have to do is have the application open and then you know what if you want to 
tweak your game without having to use that joystick, which can be annoying sometimes and it doesn't always work the way you want it to work. So we've all been there. You can kind of tab out of your game, change some settings, go back into the game, tab out, keep going back and forth until you get your image the way you want it to be without having to worry about a cooldown or a timer going off and then the OSD goes away and then you gotta reopen it and it blah, 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 blah. You see, you see where I'm going with this. So it is really, really convenient to have this OSD sidekick as well as that RGB fusion to change the RGB on the actual monitor. And I actually haven't seen that on any other monitor. So it's really cool that Oris did that. So the next logical question that you guys probably have for me is, is that 0.5 milliseconds response time worth it over a one milliseconds response time? And I have to say, no, it's not gonna make or break you. It's not gonna give you an advantage over somebody else. It's gonna make your image slightly clearer. It's not gonna be this huge game changer that's going to give you this huge advantage over like a five milliseconds response time or even a one milliseconds response time it's not happening i feel like when you get to these higher refresh rates at this 240 hertz now we're getting to 360 hertz soon i feel like you get diminishing returns at some point especially when it comes to the response time as long as you're not ghosting like crazy which you won't get that much on a tm panel as is you got a high refresh rate the last thing you should be worried about is a 0.5 milliseconds response time advantage over your opponent so I've had this monitor for a couple of months now and I've been going back and forth between it and the BenQ XL 2546. And I have to tell you guys, I cannot tell a huge difference. The only thing that I really notice a difference is, is the image quality. And this monitor, the KD25F, has a huge advantage when it comes to color rendition over like the Alienware and the BenQ monitors and even the Asus monitor as well. So if you're somebody that is just gonna have like a one monitor setup, I would go with this monitor for $390 over the Alienware and over the BenQ 2546. The price is very competitive now. Now, before this one was priced at like about $500, which was the same as the BenQ. Now it's down to about 390 and I feel like it's kind of a steal for what you're getting. I don't really feel like I'm skipping a beat when I go from like an IPS monitor back over to this TN panel. It feels pretty damn good and the viewing angles are really good as well. I feel like Oris did a lot of good things with this monitor. They also put in some audio features as well. Now they put a mic jack and a headphone jack and they've given you some ANC capabilities so it'll tune out some of the mic noise on your microphone which is really cool as well. So my recommendation is as follows. If you're somebody that's a competitive gamer like you are like gonna be at the World Cup for Fortnite. You're trying to win three million dollars. I'll go with like a BenQ. But for the rest of us, I would go with this bad boy, the KD25F from Oris. It has everything that the BenQ has, and it's a great monitor. It has a better image, especially when you're just browsing or you wanna watch movies. It's gonna look a lot better than the BenQ. It's really cool that Oris has packed so much into this monitor, and I feel like this should be on a lot of people's radar, especially if you're looking for a 240 hertz monitor, which I think does make a difference even over 144 hertz. So if you're looking to upgrade and you don't know what to get, I would start here with the Oris KD25F. They also give you a one year warranty on any bright pixels that might show up during the year. So that's really cool. Oris did a lot and they're backing their products as well. So shout out to Oris for standing by their products. All right guys, it has been your boy bt don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace